the sum of the last two digits of the last two numbers is 49. So that means one would have been 25 and the other would have been 24. That's how you get to a sum of 49 from two consecutive numbers. So the sum of the remainders obtained, a number ending with 24 will always leave a remainder too. See the concept is that if there's a big number, however big it may be, if it's ending with 24 or whatever, the remainder with 25 depends on only the last two digits. Because this huge number can be written as 5, 7, 6, 8, 7, 6, double zero plus whatever comes here, 24, whatever, you know, 24. This number is a multiple of 100. If it's a multiple of 100, it's of course a multiple of 25. So the remainder with 25 depends on only the last two digits. In fact, the remainder of 5 raised to power n or 2 raised to power n depends on the last n digits. So if the last two digits are 24 and 25, this will lead to a remainder of 0. This will lead to a remainder of 24. Effectively, the sum of remainders would be 24. Statement 1 is sufficient. The sum of remainders obtained is even. Ah, this is very interesting. How can the sum of remainders obtained be even? Because one is going to be even and the other is going to be odd. Lot of students will think that the statement does not hold. However, this does hold. This is possible when one remainder is zero. So for example, in this case only C, the remainder here is 24. This is remainder 25, but practically it's not 25. 25 when divided by 25, will again give you a remainder 0. So see in this case only the sum of two consecutive numbers when divided by 25 the remainder is 0 because one remainder which is technically 25 is mathematically 0. So this is also possible. This also leads to the same possibility that the remainder is 24. One may think that 25 and 26 is also a possibility. That's not the case because this will lead to a remainder of 0 but this will lead to a remainder of 1. So practically the remainder would be 1 which is not even which is odd. So there's only one possibility 24. This is a very good question. Statement 2 is also sufficient. The answer is option D.